The slight combination of sleep deprivation and irrational hunger has brought me here. Meal ready to eat individual menu number eight, ham slice. This one's from 1992. Was stored under utmost conditions. About 50 degrees Fahrenheit for its entire lifespan. Let's give it a look. Okay, so right off the bat, cooked ham slice, smoke flavoring added. Look at the short list of ingredients. Ham cured with water, salt, sugar, sodium phosphate, sodium erythrobate, smoke flavoring, and sodium nitrite. Packed the 185th day of 1992, four and a half ounces. There's your spoon. Now, 1990 to 91, that was your first generation for the clear accessory packet. You get your classic old school style wet nap, moist towelette. Love the way these smell. Creamer, taster's choice, which that's interesting. Even though this thing was stored very well, this is no good. Not really sure what the deal is with that. Then your other basic items, you know, matches, salt, sugar, chewing gum, potatoes au gratin. Look at that. Brownie chocolate covered. Cocoa beverage powder. Those last almost forever. And the same with your standard unsalted MRE crackers. And I believe they took the salt off them in probably 1990, 91. It was still on them in 89. All right, that's the rest of that. You get a beverage base powder orange, cocoa beverage powder and an orange beverage base. Apple jelly and then Tabasco sauce. Here's the phenomenon of the day. So you get nine and a half ounces of retort pouch food. They aren't messing around. This is a pretty versatile menu. I would say it would make for a great breakfast. The orange beverage base, I mean cocoa beverage powder, if you had that taster's choice, still in good shape. 185th day of 1992. Nice ham. We're going to boil these in the pouch for about 10 minutes. Not bad. All right, so let's get this out on the tray. Nice, in case. Let's first start off with the cocoa beverage powder. Yeah, that's perfect. And it has, again, a very unique smell. The old Type 1 cocoa beverage powder. This was the best. A very light, actual chocolate smell. Then the orange beverage base. Whoa. Look at the color. The color, the consistency... No caking at all. Seeing that in a paper pack, you don't see that every day. There actually is a slight natural orange oil essence. The potatoes are gratin. Hmm. The smell as normal. Normal cheese. Not, you know, rank in any sort of way. The appearance is like 
time capsule status. This stuff gets dark and very unappealing looking when it's not fresh. Nice. An excellent appearance, a very healthy yellow. And now for that ham slice. It smells like a thick cut bacon or like Canadian bacon. Look at that beauty. Its appearance is the exact same as the day it was packed. Right, apple jelly and crackers. Nice hiss. The old crackers. They always held together. I mean, look at that. They were just better back then. But they were even better than this when they were salted. I mean, that was like the heyday for MRE crackers. Gonna save one for the jelly and then one for up here. I don't know why, breaking that actually was less satisfying than I thought it would be because it didn't break evenly. And that brownie. These things usually aren't good at all. And you can tell by this, wow, that just takes me back. That's what they used to smell like when I was a kid. The appearance right off the bat is incredible. That is the first thing to go. That, the potatoes au gratin, the cheese spread. Let's check the color. Is it gonna be light or dark or in between? A little bit in between. Sometimes that jelly is lighter than that. And sometimes it's like black. It's a nice dark golden toned apple jelly. A lot of times when it gets dark like this, it will lose its flavor and it will get more gelatinous. So let's go for the ham. That is substantial right there. I mean, there was that rib shaped barbecue pork patty which ran up until 2016. That was a great menu. But this, this is like pure protein. I mean, there's some marbling, but... It tastes perfect. Very lean, salty piece of ham. It is extremely salty. Hmm. Very smoky. Doesn't taste old. It doesn't taste like it came out of a retort pouch, which, I mean, that says a lot for a, for a piece of ham. It's not like a preformed, and if it is, they did a good job on it because it's fooling me. Yeah, it might be preformed, but things for certain tastes better than spam. It really does. Potatoes au gratin. That tastes normal. Somewhat low sodium, you know, content compared to the ham. That has a great cheese sauce. It's not overpowering. It's a slight grittiness to it. It's not like a super overly processed, you know, cheese sauce. It's it actually resembles a little bit of a homemade Potatoes are gratin. Wash it down some. Far superior to the modern orange beverage base. And a little bit more accurate of an artificial orange flavor than the modern. And I would say because it has very likely some 
actual natural flavoring as well. It tastes like Sunny Delight and Tang. That's refreshing. It mixes well. It has more sugar and less maltodextrin, maybe none, than the modern kind. It's a different, you know, take on a beverage base. Now this. Mm. Oh yeah. A little bit less like nachos and cheese. Like say, the cheese sauce with the modern au gratin is more like nacho cheese. This is a little bit less thick, a little more natural, but it's still, I mean with crackers, gives you the perfect crunch. I always make poor food choices when I've been awake for a long time. You know, this is like one of those days. So there's something about this right now that's even more satisfying than usual. really makes for a top-notch breakfast menu. I mean, back in 92 you had scalloped potatoes with ham, ham slices, and then omelet with ham. All great breakfast menus. Oh yeah, and then corned beef hash. So four of them, really. A little something sweet after all that. I can definitely pick up the apple. You know, the old menus, sometimes I wonder if they should have gotten rid of ones like this. I'm enjoying it. Ham Slice got replaced by Country Captain Chicken in 2000. Country Captain Chicken ran till 04. And then in 05, it was the Veggie Omelette. That ran until 2008. It was replaced by Maple Breakfast Patty in 2009. All of them, well, except for Country Captain Chicken, were... You know, reasonable breakfast menus. Country Captain Chicken was just like a strange lapse in judgment by Natick Food Labs, and somebody probably got fired for that one. But I mean, when it comes down to this, look at this brownie. That is a well stored gem. I'm going right for it. Yeah, they were never that great. Man, I missed it. being able to eat a normal one. Yeah, it's like an absolute dirt bar. Chocolate dirt bar. Like just verging on flavorless and just so dry, but oddly not thirst provoking. Like there's this waxiness to the milk chocolate coating that just helps it go down. Mmm, no fruitiness to the nuts. And you know what? I can always go for that because, oh wow, I just realized I totally forgot about the Tabasco sauce. Like, I didn't even need it. That's always good, you know, when you don't need it. I mean, this stuff, it goes a long way. Well, it does when you eat most of your food before it. I gotta go back over here and try this while it's still hot with some Tabasco. No, it's cold, but... Mmm, but Tabasco's got a nice little vinegar, you know, Schofield kick. Not too much. Tabasco was a great addition to MREs. I don't think anyone can really logically say it wasn't. That was definitely a nice saving grace. I mean, if you got tired of the flavor of any of this stuff, you could just mask it with that. Look at that. That is just, you don't get any lean pieces of meat like this in a modern, modern one. Maybe the brisket or something, I don't know. The beef pot roast with vegetables, that's a nice piece of meat. Mm. This just floors me. The little pieces of nuts in that are just perfectly, this is, wow. A dry, lightly sweet milk chocolate flavor. And it's strange, it's not a brownie. Wasn't around much longer than this year and with good reason it's terrible but most of the time when you find them they're completely spoiled so like it's filled with chopped walnuts and those walnuts it could be almonds i'm pretty sure they're walnuts 
I'll never really know. I've never seen a list of ingredients anywhere for this one. And if you did, you probably wish you'd never read it because there's probably some kind of like, you know, genetically altering, you know, ingredient. Hmm. This is the highlight of my week. Oops. Piece of that just fell on the floor. Forgot about the hot chocolate. Sorry, I'm talking my mouth full. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This last little bite. Actually, the, the brownie, you eat it with drinking the cocoa beverage. That's actually really good. Brings out the flavor of the brownie. It's really just like having a strange dry chocolate nut, you know, cookie with a milk chocolate waxed coating. And I really love the cocoa beverage powder. Type 1, it's amazing. The way the hydrogenated oils bind with the B vitamins, it really gives this unique flavor with the refined sugar. I, I just love it. I mean, all that creamer and no actual milk. It really just has such a comforting, you know, flavor to it. This is such a treat. I love the flavor of that orange beverage base from back in the day. And when it's fresh, like actually a well-stored, you know, one, it's just even better. There are a couple pieces of that ham I don't really like. Some of it's like kind of tough. Look at that. This is my last bite of the ham. I'm super full. I'm just burping. They give you such a substantial portion of food. I don't know though. I just don't like the last bit. Like, it's weird. It's like the last bit of this ham is like tough. Well, that piece wasn't. Or this. Wait. Hmm. I'm gonna stop there. I'm just not. So let's just finish this. When you have an old MRE that's this well preserved, it's that reminder you know, of how much these things have changed in the last 25, you know, to 35 years. The old brown baggers, this was just such a different era. You know, the, the bottle of Tabasco. I mean, these cost more to produce. I mean, that was, I think, 2011 or 12 when they switched over to the little packets. But still, there are so many things from the old style that only 12 menus instead of 24. The gum. Bites right in, perfectly fresh. No issues with the gum, it's not hard. The wet nap. Oh cool, it's still wet. The smell is just nostalgic. And I don't wanna be too rough with it, but it's a good quality wet nap. It's the best. So this was a 1992 data production, meal ready to eat individual, menu eight. Ham slice. I'm gonna go eat a tum. Actually, I don't need to. That was a perfectly fresh meal. I have no regrets. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.